you are welcome to another challenging geometry math question today we are asked to find the area of this circle okay now this circle inside it is inscribed a triangle of sides five five and six i'm going to solve this using three methods okay yeah now let's go to the first method first of all remember that we have a triangle let's draw it out we have this triangle okay now this is five this is five and this is six okay from here to here is six now if we call this a call this b call this c this is the center of the circle if we draw a straight line through the center of a circle to this point remember at this point according to the circle theorem this is a chord okay and when you draw a straight line from the center of the circle to touch your chord it divides your chord into two equal parts okay so this is a straight line so we definitely form 90 degrees and 90 degrees so it will divide this line into two equal parts now if we call this place um let's call this o okay if we call this o then b o is equal to o c okay this is c b o is equal to o c now it means that this should be equal to b c divided by two right b c divided by two which will give us a b c is six six divided by two which will give us three so it means that this place is three and this place is three as well all right now having gotten that now let us draw part of this triangle so if we draw out part of this triangle we are going to have this is five this is right angle right and this is three and we can get a o okay using the pythagoras theorem now according to pythagoras the pythagoras theorem states that in a right angled triangle okay the side facing your right angle is your hash now let's call the remaining parts a and b okay now h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared according to pythagoras now let's relate that to what we have here so our hypotenuse here is five so we have five squared is equal to a o squared a o squared plus three squared plus three squared okay now let's subtract three squared from both sides if we do that we have five squared minus three squared is equal to a o squared plus three squared minus three squared now three squared minus three squared is zero now we have five squared minus three squared which is same thing as 25 minus 9 is equal to a o squared 25 minus 9 we give us 16 right so we have 16 is equal to a o squared so it simply means that a o will be the square root of 16 so a o will be equal to 4 so it means that the length from here to here is 4 we have 4 from here to here all right and from here to here is six okay now let us introduce another theorem okay the cold cold power theorem now let me explain what that theorem is all about okay according to the cold cold power theorem it states that it states that when two chords meet each other that is let's call this chord a chord a b and call this chord c d okay and this is their meeting point O. Oh, according to the power power theorem it states that a o times o b is equal to c o times o d all right yes that is the power power code uh, the code code power theorem now let us apply it here 
because we need to get the radius of this circle if we are able to get the diameter of this circle we can divide it into two to get the radius right yes now let's go back to this remember that from here to here let me stay here so i'll draw it well from here to here gave us four right now the whole of this is six but this is three and this is three and from here to here we don't know what it is and this is our center o all right so let's call this this is a b c okay let's call this part p let's call it p now using the cut cut theorem called bc intersects or cuts called ap at o so according to the cut cut theorem it says that three times three okay three times three should be equal to four times op right four times op yeah now three times three will give us nine we have nine is equal to four times op all right now to get the magnitude of op we divide both sides of this equation by four so we have nine divided by four is equal to op all right so here is what nine over four but I want you to look closely. You can see that this line passed through the center of this circle. You know, I did not draw it well, okay? From our calculation, this line passes through the center of the circle down to the other part of the circle. That means this is our diameter. And if this is our diameter, remember that 4 plus 9 over 4 should be equal to 2R because diameter is 2 times the radius, okay? So now we have 4 plus 9 over 4 is equal to 2R, okay? Now the LCM is 4. Let us um, make this one to be 4 by multiplying it by 4 and also multiplying the numerator by 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 over 4 plus 9 over 4 is equal to 2R. Now we have this. This should be over 4. Now, 16 plus 9 will give us 25. So, we have 25 over 4 is equal to 2R. Now, to get the value of R, we multiply both sides of this equation by half. So, we have 25 over 4 multiplied by half is equal to 2R multiplied by half. So, you can see that 2, we divide 2, and we have that R is equal to 25 over 8 25 over 8 and that is the value of our radius this has taken a lot of time already okay so i don't know but let's try the second method or we, we are going to shoot another video for that okay thanks so much for watching see you in my next video bye